Hey guys, it's Tom, and welcome to Minecraft on the Mind Valley server, Season 3. I'm sure you're probably wondering, Tom, what happened to Season 2? You only uploaded like two videos. Uh, ooh, free food. Um, so I'll, I'll explain the story while I'm doing the basics um so last month as of this recording uh the server hosting company that the server uh, was on ended up losing pretty much everything um i don't know what would have caused it but that's not really a matter um but took about a month and according to this one of the server owners in there king domity um company just decided to not i guess rebuild or restart whatever it was that caused them to go down so we had to wait we meaning us the rest of the uh server players checking the volume let's do 25 what about 20 is that better looks like it's better I'm sure you guys will let me know um so in so we ended up changing server hosting companies now, so we're back. But uh reason why this is a season three and not a continuation of season two. Um, and it's blatantly obvious, we just decided to restart. Because by the time the server would be ready again. 1.21 dropped, which I believe, and again, as of this recording, was last Thursday. So, yeah, we have restarted everything. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, the my build idea still is the same military kind of Cold War era-esque builds. Oh yeah, and because we updated to 120, 121, um, a lot of the server mods that they have haven't updated. I guess data packs is the correct term. So I'm doing this. Now, when I started in last season, I went straight from spawning and then, oop, forgot to mute my mic or phone. Um, I did not build a spawn house and I felt kind of crummy because of it because I'm on a server. I need to be interacting with everybody on it. So I feel if I build my house, and they want me to be about 500 blocks away from the spawn area. Um, but I want to build just kind of a... Z so my design for it, I kind... Well, it doesn't have to be a secret, because you don't know what it looks like. But in keeping with the military theme... I want to make it look like a military recruiting office. And like they were saying, I gotta be about 500 blocks or some amount of chunks away. I think 13 when I did the calculation yesterday. Uh, oh, this is a thing too. Also blatantly obvious. I'm using a shader pack. I figured, hey, why not? 
it looks pretty. And now that I know, now that I know what recording settings I need to be at, I can record this 4K at 60 frames. That must be some kind of jungle there. Um, what else is I going to say? Oh, so I do need to go mining to get the basic stuff. That's why I was grabbing these. But I will not record me caving because in Season 2, Episode 2, that's what the whole thing was. So... I'll keep recording, but I'm only going to put in the stuff that would be interesting or funny or amazing.
shield, bow, some backup tools, I'm going to use up what's left of that, and then where's that mutton, there it is, and have some of that, um, while I was, I was trying to get some string for the bow, so I had to fight off some monsters, but in my battles, there happened to be a village right over this hill. Well, we're a really, really big hill. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. Yeah, here's the village, and then over there is a pyramid, which means there's a desert nearby, and that's perfect. Part of this, part of my spawn home military recruitment center it needs some sandstone well the building doesn't but the thing next to it does but while we're here let's check the place out oh um i do have a texture pack on that changes the way the villagers look so i have that um and i'm sure in whatever footage i used to uh let's see what i'll take a potato um if i show any of the footage i also have mo the hostile mobs looking different nothing too game ch game changing but hey it works I don't think these type of houses have anything in them. Uh, oh. Yeah, all the hay bales. Um... No, because I can make that. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna take it. Anybody else on the server that was wanting that? Let me know. I can hand it to you, or if you want to trade for it, also let me know. So, 
So it's just these two houses left. Three, four houses left. Nothing. Nothing. Also nothing. And last but not least, I'm sure you have nothing as well. Uh, oh, we, we do. Nothing of major want. Maybe the bread. Do I want to take the gold nuggets too? Nah. Somebody else could have those. Um, let's check out what's in that desert temple. Because I'm sure there's some... I call it a pyramid, and then I go back to calling it a temple. Uh oh, that's something I don't want to run into. Ah, here it is. There should be some armor trims. And obsidian portal, too. Fantastic. Let's see. I want things spawning in here while I'm trying to dig down. Some dune trims, which I will take. Let's dump that. No need chiseled. Or cut. Uh, actually, I will take the regular sand, because not only am I going to need them for... For, uh... Sandstone, I can use them for glass as well. Pretty much taking everything but the rotten flesh. And there was nothing amazing in this these chests, so. We'll however take all this. Let's use the cut sandstone because not gonna need it. I'm do that. <sighs> and now we watch them burn. Oh, I have nuggets now, so I can make a ingot. Yeah, we can dump all that. We should save the string of these. Stone cutter, and then let's plant some sugar cane over here. Cool. Okay, so that's doing a thing. Uh, you, you need to not exist anymore. I missed. How about... Uh, put that there. Do I have any more free dirt? Yes, I do. I don't know why I have that, that, or this. Uh, I'm keeping that for a reason. Oh, there wasn't a cleric either in that village, so we do that. Dump all that there. We're gonna do a quick and dirty kind of a filling in. Some of it I can actually take from there. You know what? Okay. All two of the trees that had yet to grow have grown. Here I put my axe. Okay, so this is where I was trying to fill in. That's not going to be big enough. However, 
Oop, I missed. Uh, if I were to expand a bit more this way, maybe have to kind of cover up the hole there. I might be able to make it work. Let's fill that in and give it a shot. Okay, so I kind of widened it out. Or no, I filled in over here. It still doesn't look big enough. Uh, here. Go down, down. Ow. Uh, I am away from the boat I made to make traveling back and forth easier. But that was an Enderman. Ah, here's the boat. Because from up there, it looks small. But from down here, it's fairly big. What if I went that direction with this? A bit more. Oh, I end up digging this up. And then play, replacing it with the dirt. Uh, let's quickly... Yeah, let's say quickly. Let's fill it in and see if that can work a bit better. So instead of going to the top of that mountain, I'm just here. Because that'll give me a more realistic idea of how I need to kind of terraform here. I guess what I could do is, like where the sugarcane starts right here, kind of build over. I'm going to have to fill that in because that's a crevice in that opening. And then... Curve it towards there. I think that's going to be a better idea. A better choice. And I just need to find my boat. And it's all the way over there. Okay. So I went back over. Ripped up some of the dirt and sand. I actually had to use cobblestone at one point. But I think I have the shape that I need. So now, I have to dig up some more dirt and sand, but I'm going to call it an episode. It's been a little long, for me at least. For me, it's been, what would it have been, three hours? I think it's been three hours that I've been recording, but I'm very excited that I actually have a sub plan. By that, I mean... I can act, I've actually came up with an idea that I want to do and build it, and it doesn't have to relate to the mega build I want to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. Throw that in there. Bye!